I'd rather be with you. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. I'm going to wait for like one or two people because I really want to get this over with. Because it's my day off. And I want to chill and take off this makeup. Okay, one more person. And I'm going to go on here and start. All right. Hey. All right. All right. So, what's up? What's up? Your host, Shay LaVon. Got the red go flowing. I've been gone for like two, three weeks. So, my last episode was about my life updates. I was telling you different stuff that was going on with me throughout the month of May. And there is one more May update. So, May 31st, at around 3 o'clock in the morning, I got a phone call from my youngest auntie saying that my grandmother has died. So that whole weekend, I was really through it because she means a lot to me. And she put a lot of values in my, in my soul. And I would truly meet, miss her. The reason that I would not dedicate this episode to her is because I'm going to be cussing. I might want to act a fool and she ain't like all that. So we're just going to keep it nice and classy. And it's like a lot of times, it's like no matter what what time do people say that people got to live, you are never prepared for that person's death because you're used to seeing this person. Even walking around in her house the Monday after to talk with family, I, I feel so creeped out because she's usually the first person that comes to the door when I see her and I would hear her voice and all this other good stuff. So with that being said, got the red cup. All right, so... This episode is called Relationship Overrated. I guess the masses, the, the masses are mad at me, honey, based on some, some Facebook post. I want to explain it, but I don't want to because that's not my energy level. So the reason I say that relationships are overrated because people don't embody the values anymore. It's like, don't stop, get it, get it, generation. Now, our my generation is the don't stop get it, get it generation. Now, this is the generation is drink clean, drink clean, pop pills, and pop pussy generation, which is a really sad thing. So, red cup, right? So, when I was younger, my great grandma used to always tell me what a man's supposed to do, how a man's supposed to treat you. And at the time when your great grandmama telling you something, you're not going to understand because you're young. And plus, I was in a relationship from the time I was 13 till I was like 27. So I didn't quite understand it until I got out of that relationship. And I was so disappointed because now these dudes are like, can you pay my bill? Can you pay my weed man bill? Can you pay my Jordan bill? Maybe we could chill. I don't. Yeah, that's the type of people they are these days it's like men don't want to be men and women don't want to be women and there were times i was guilty of that because majority of my relationships except for that one with my ex-fiance i was always the man i was like the more i ain't gonna say the man because i don't have a penis and i don't care to although sometimes i complain about being a girl i like being a girl i like every now and then get my hair done my nails done but it's like all this gender gender label crap is has really gone too fucking far. So I had two serious relationships in my lifetime. I was always a person that did not want a relationship right away because I like to, you know, get to know people, not be tied down because sometimes relationship to me is a sign of ownership. Ownership is like being a slave and no, you're not gonna brand me. So <laughs> So, with this whole thing, relationship being overrated, I feel that relationships are overrated because they don't have the values. They don't want to have the values. They rather, it's like, look, I can lay, I can lay on my back all day and say, mm, ah, mm, ah. But to get to actually know somebody and put up with that person's personality, that takes a lot of work. And this is the true bubblegum generation is really fucked up and everything. And like my last relationship, I rushed that shit. I cannot believe I actually rush a relationship when I take pride in getting to know someone. 
But, you know, when you rush something, you get to find out about things that you don't want to deal with in your next lifetime. So I had a relationship in my teens and the 20s. My last relationship was in my 30s. So my next relationship was most likely when I was just about to turn 40. So, wreck up. Hey, wreck up, right? So, and plus people are so quick to give up. Like, my great-grandparents were married for 64, 65 years. Yeah, she fussed at him a whole lot, but she loved him. She took care of him all the way to his deathbed. And even when my great-granddaddy died, she didn't want no other man. She wasn't trying to pop that or whatever. She she had a husband, so why would you get another man if you had your husband? And that's the type of love I'm on. Although, yes, I'm a free spirit, and yes, I do have a lot of shit. I do believe in love. I believe in everlasting love. I believe in conditional, unconditional love. And my version of love is not about, ooh, baby, I love you. My version of love is being devoted and looking at one another. And motherfuckers don't want to do that shit no more. Like, golly, people. It's like I post this one Facebook status about my relationship because I was just... There was stuff that was going on with me. I was so fed up. It seemed like that everybody knew about my relationship but me. That, oh, my God, she miserable. Oh, my God, this. Oh, my God. I was like, man... I wanted to respond, but I just want to see what everybody else was saying. And it was like mugs were trolling my Facebook says. I say, man, if y'all were a fly on the wall for every time me and that man got in an argument, y'all wouldn't be saying all that crap about me at all. At all. And it's like sometimes I be wanting to explain my story. Like even people were asking me, Jocelyn, what you write that status for? What you do? What you do? And I've learned about from being a battle rap girlfriend, say nothing. It's like I say, I explain myself at times because I want people to understand where I'm coming from. But reality of it is, they don't understand you. They just want to know why, so they can be nosy as fuck. So even family and people who've been around me, it's like, why you do this? Why you do that? I say, look, hey, I got pissed off. That's what I'm going to tell you. And at the same token, the same people's like, why you mad? Whatever. They ain't call me in a while, whatever. I'm like, well, damn, where the fuck were y'all at when my grandma passed and when I was going damn near Kanye West? Where the fuck were y'all at when I'm talking about my grandma's health? Where the fuck were y'all at when I'm announcing that I'm going to have a nephew and I'm happy? Now, it's like I've been making little Facebook statuses, whatever, but it's the one Facebook status that had everybody like, ooh, and I'm like, come the fuck on. Then people would tell me, like, oh, you're negative, baby. If you only knew... What goes on these four walls in this apartment, you would not be calling me negative at all. Matter of fact, you'd be like, shoo, you trying to have yourself look gangsta party. You're damn right. So my views on relationship are kind of unconventional. If I was president, every time that you bought somebody for your uh, spouse, you should get 40% of that as a tax write-off. And you should get a tax return based on what you buy for your spouse. And if I was president, every time your spouse messed up within a month, they got three you they got three months or you gonna have your side chick a dude. Why a side chick a dude? Because people take things so much for granted, they don't know what's going on until somebody else somebody else takes that person. So yes, if I was president, everybody would have a side person only if that person was messing up. Man, so my points of views on my relationship are kind of screwed up. And you know what? I don't give a fuck. Right, up, right? So, it was like, I got a text day before my grandma's funeral from my ex talking about some, are you dating so-and-so? First off, why you ask me this when you're the one that broke over me? Secondly, you didn't want to work things out when I did things wrong. So, why, why are you asking me? And that's another thing I think about relationships. If you break up with somebody, you have no right to information about that person. Unless you want that person back. You have no right to ask about that person because you broke up, you're done, you finito, you adios. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. You got to go. And why you try to hold on to somebody that don't want to be kept? 
it's like there's in both of my serious relationships i was trying to hold on i was trying to make things work but if somebody don't want to be kept let them go matter of fact if this was moses you wouldn't have to tell me let my people go because your people already been gone by the time you try to say let uh, your people already been gone so no i'm not going to explain that one facebook says i thought about explaining that one facebook says but i'm not because something should be kept behind my four walls at the moment the masses no and anybody who was around me at that particular time, know why I specifically made that Facebook status that I made uh, yesterday. You know, so no, I'm not going to tell nobody. I ain't going to tell too many people why I made that Facebook status because, like I say, people just fish for information. They don't care about you. If they care about me, where was I when my grandma died when I was crying out? Seriously. So, no, I ain't going to say nothing. No. I got my logo, and I'm trying to set something up for Wreck of Chronicles Beyond Radio, whatever. That's what y'all need to know. And who is this times time to person? They keep on trying to say that I'm da- dating. Oh, my God. Matter of fact, since I'm single, I might want to hop in some people. And matter of fact, hop in my, we could hop in each other inboxes. My birthday would be on Sunday. How about that? I want to get some pop in and crack a lack, and I want to kick it. Since I'm newly single and stuff, it ain't like I've been single before. Before this motherfucker, I was single for like five, six years. So being single is nothing to me. So <laughs> yeah, just kicking in, just relaxing, whatever. Like I say, yeah, if I was president and your mate was messing up for a straight month. You have a right to have a side person for like 90 days until your mate be better because people don't appreciate nothing until you're gone. And I have a huge heart and I'm quite tired of that type of shit. So, I'm going to talk my shit. I'm going to be jostling. And like I say, I will be 35 on Sunday. And I don't look like I've been through what I've been through these past little months or whatnot. Relationships are overrated because people has lost value and people want more help than love. And people don't take the time to get to know that person. But we know each other's body's parts. Pop, step, hey, pop, pop, step, pop, 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 step, hey. So, <laughs> yes. And if you're in a relationship... Unless that's your best friend, don't listen to no single person. They want what you have, but they don't know the misery you go through in that relationship. If I had a purse, had a man, a girl, I wouldn't be doing that. Well, you wouldn't know what to do if you had my... Matter of fact, you know what? You want a man? Take mine. And uh, holler me within 30 to 60 days to see how you will feel. Sometimes being single is good because you get to know yourself and be at one. Sometimes being in a relationship is good because you get to be around a person... Shoo, only thing I miss about my, no, uh, I can't say that, because that didn't happen. Shoo, so, I can say something good about my exes, like, what I miss about my first relationship is devotion. I don't, it's like, to be honest, not thinking about, I don't think I ever wanted to be in a relationship, but I didn't want to go around counties and municipalities and stuff, and just I'm just a happy-go-lucky free spirit. Like, dang. And free spirit does not mean whore. It's just, it actually means you're a free thinker. Meaning you don't think like, you don't think, you don't move, you don't do shit like anybody else but your motherfucking self. So, now y'all see why I dedicate this to my grandma? Because I knew I was going to cuss my ass the fuck off. So, it's like people don't know what dedication is in relationship people don't take her for their mates no more and one thing i used to tell my ex take her for me be united with me in public but get on me in private what 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 he didn't understand that concept i say dang you know it's like dedication be unified in public so nobody would talk about y'all but y'all but get on me in private. Let me know what I've done wrong so I can do better. And when we get in public, they will know your pimp hand is strong. Your imaginary pimp hand is strong. So it was so many myths about me, about my last relationship. Like, 
The main one is I'm miserable. Y'all just don't know. Yeah, I cried when we first discussed, but come the days before he moved, I was count. I was doing a day countdown. And we had our last little argument. I said, you know what? Fuck it, go. So those ones say that Jocelyn was miserable. Nah. Only thing I'm sad about at this moment, I'm still sad about my grandma dying. And yeah, like how the hell are you going to ask about grandma funeral and then go turn around and say, so you dating so-and-so? I'm like, then turn around and say it don't matter. If it don't matter, why you asking me? I don't, I don't get people these days. Shoot, you call me crazy, drunk. No, the correct term for me is wine, though, because I drink wine. I don't drink alcohol like that. Motherfucker. Shit. Red coat, right? So, some of your relationship opinions, whatever, like I said, they're overrated. Now, if they brought back the, the value of old school had in relationship, whatever, maybe I believe in relationships again. That's why I posted this one status, which was what this episode was based on. I don't want a relationship. I just want somebody that I could be loyal to and he'll be loyal to me. We, it's like everybody's like, oh my God, you loyal to your mate. Yeah, you're also loyal to your dog, your friends, and your family too. Keep that in mind. So, yeah, I don't think I'm in a relationship. I just want somebody, one person that I could just be with and do relationship stuff with and Go out and do hood rat things with whatever. <laughs> Cause relationships suck. Uh, maybe in the near future I would not feel that way. But these days I just want one person that I could be loyal to. We don't have to call a relationship. We can call it common law because at the end of the day, you are single until you are married. You call yourself a relationship. They don't have nothing on taxes for a boyfriend girlfriend. They have. Stuff on taxes for married, filing jointly, married, filing separately, single, had a household. They don't have shit for girlfriend, boyfriend. So all this stuff that people have about love and relationships without marriage is very fucking unrealistic to me. And I wish more and more people would realize that without trying to judge somebody for another person's choices or opinions or sexuality or whatnot. I just think people are stupid. Yeah, that's my problem. I think people are stupid. Like, right now, I ain't got nobody, but everybody everybody in the battle rap world trying to fix me up with somebody's shoe. The way I am, I get what I want. I finna hop in this dude's inbox. How about that? Shoot, nah, I ain't gonna screenshot because, nah, yeah, I'm about to hop in some inboxes. My birthday on Sunday. <laughs> Boy, it goes down in an inbox. It goes down in an inbox. It goes down in an inbox. So, I'm chilling. It's my day off. I'm going to try to look for some inboxes to hop in. Even if I had a little friend, yeah, I wouldn't know. For what? Have y'all motherfuckers be lurking on my shit. I ain't gonna lie, whoever told my ex that my grandma died, I was pissed because I'm petty. You break with me, you are not to know anything about me. Matter of fact, you need to, my name is Umbuku to you. Now, Jocelyn, Umbuku. So, my thing is, if you're looking for love, state that you're looking for love. If you're looking to fuck, state that you want your dick suck and the person to go home after like 30 days. If you're looking for somebody to buy you food, whatever, just say, hey, I don't have any groceries. Buy me some food. Buy me a meal from McDonald's. Get the, and get the dog on a value meal, too. Whatever you want in life, state that. You have one life to live, and it sucks how so many people choose to play games instead of being honest with themselves. What inspired me to be honest with myself about being a happy and around relationship? Well... I have a cousin who's six months younger than me. We were raised kind of like as sisters. She was married for over 10 years. And I first met her ex-husband. I did not like that man one bit. And everybody keeps on saying, get you a man in church. But majority of men who are in church, they are some huge hypocrites. Hypocrite, hypocrite, hypocrites. 
And I felt that way about her husband. So, like, two weeks before she got married, me and her kind of got into it because I'm like, are you sure you want to be married? And she cocked the attitude with me. I said, you know what? Hey, when a, pers- when a grown person cocked the attitude with me, I step back and let you do you. Because at the end of the day, it's your life and it's not mine. So, I made a promise to myself that, you know what? Although she cocked the attitude with you, whenever she need me, I'm going to be there. I'm going to listen. I'm going to console her and I will not judge I'm not, it's like, if you get to talk to me, I'm really not a judgmental person. I may sad at you, but I'm not going to judge you. I might go, I might ask you some questions, but I'm not going to judge you. So over time, I consoled her, do what big cousin do. Well, uh, well, around the same age. Right now, we're both 34 until Sunday, then I'll be 35. And I don't look, ooh, I look fine for 35, by the way. I love me some meat, baby. So over time so she got divorced and i ain't gonna put her business out there different stuff that was going on because that ain't even my business to tell so i'm happy she got divorced but what inspired me to realize that i'm not happy in my last relationship she came over my house she was just a glowing and boy when you get distressed off your shoulders you glow you look good she was gorgeous and i look ugh and I was like, you know what? I need to realize I'm not happy in my relationship either. And when she first saw my, when when my cousin first saw my ex, she was like, huh? Because she know that I like taller, slimmer guys. Hey, you got to go different sometimes in your relationships. I'm sorry. Man, if I could tell you all the guys I've dated while I was single. Golly, honey. So... Her happiness that she got her divorce and everything inspired me to realize maybe I'm not happy in my last relationship. I'm not dissing dude. If y'all think I'm going to diss dude, nah. I heard that he has a battle. No, I was reminded that he has a battle coming up. Hey, if he throws insults like the way he used to throw insults at me during our arguments, he is going to kick his opponent's ass. I have faith. See, I can say something positive about my exes. I'm not so negative. So, with that being said, it's overrated because the values have diminished by decades, by far. And I wish we bring the whole old school thing back because men need to be men. Although I'm a free spirit, I do believe men need to, need to be men and women need to be women and men need to be the dominant part and women need to be the recessor or whatever and stop trying to be a man you're not as strong as a man that's why when it's like when people tell me jocelyn you gotta be strong jay you gotta be strong i hate that strong is for men not women i don't like that word for women strong strong back to woman what strong black woman you might as well say hard-headed ass black woman that's what it is. You strong because you hard headed and you don't listen. And I'm just saying, red cup, right? I ain't mm mm red cup. So so with that being said, you know what? Love your loved ones. If you want to be single, be single. Relationships are very much overrated. You thought I was going to be on some whole shit. Screw you for thinking that. So, if you pay your own bills, raise your red cup. You got everything in your name, definitely raise your red cup. If you got to go work tomorrow like my black ass, raise your red cup. If you can't stand going to work, but you think about how much you got paying on your bills, raise your red cup. And shout out to my ex. He has a battle coming up a week after my birthday. Good luck and bye-bye.